Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can bring fonts into Design Space on Windows. So the first thing I want to say is that you can't actually upload fonts into Design Space. What you're doing is you're downloading fonts onto your computer and then Design Space is basically hacking your system fonts and is then able to use them but they're not actually in design space which is why it's really important that you install your fonts across all your devices so if you want a certain font on your windows and your phone for example then you need to download them onto your windows and onto your phone so i'll be showing you all this week how you install fonts onto your devices on Windows, Mac and the iOS app and today we are doing Windows but it is really important that you do it across all devices because they will only be available on the device in which you download them onto. The other important thing is that when Design Space is open as it currently is if you download a font to your computer it will not become available in design space unless you close it down or refresh it so i'm going to close design space down so that we can download our fonts and then we can find them in design space because as i say if it's open in the background then it will not recognize the new fonts until it's been closed down and reopened. So I've got a font here, which is one of my all time favorites. Samantha is probably one of the most recognized paid for fonts. It is an expensive font, uh, but it's fantastic. I'm going to download and you'll see it's downloaded to my folders. I can either open the file directly here, like so, or if I open up my folders and I go to downloads, I'll be able to find my download, open it up, and you can see that we've got the open type and the true type. Now, it used to be that there was a huge difference between these two font types. Now, most designers will try and make them as equal as possible. So true type, which is this one here, is the older type of font style. So it will have things like glyphs in there, but you might find that you're, depending on the age of the font, the glyphs in the true type are dramatically reduced to versus the open type. I always try and do open type if I can. There are some fonts still out there that are only available in the true type form. They're absolutely fine. They're great to work with. It just might be that they are slightly reduced in what is actually in the folder. So if you have the option, always try and select open type because it is the newer version. All I'm going to do is double click it. And you'll see it comes up with my install window. I can then select install. It's already installed on this computer, but I'm just going to select to replace it. And that's it. It's installed. It's now on my computer. So as I say, I closed Design Space down because if it's running in the background, it will not recognize any new downloads. So I've reopened Design Space. I'm going to open up a text box. I'm going to come to my font menu and you can see here that I can filter between system and Cricut fonts but I can also just search for the font so if I know the specific font that I'm looking for so in this case Samantha if I just type in Sam you'll see it comes straight up so it's now available in design space but it's not in design space it's not been uploaded to design space it's downloaded onto my device and then design space is able to access my system fonts so if i actually toggle between my system fonts and my cricut fonts 
you can see these are all my Cricut fonts that are in Design Space. And then the system fonts are the fonts that are on my specific device. And there we go. That is how we install fonts on to Windows. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7pm. You can talk to me in the live chat as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you so much for joining me and I hope this has been helpful. Bye!